in these problems, we're being asked to find the slopes of lines that are parallel or perpendicular to some other line given in this particular form where you have the x and the y terms on one side and the number on the other side. So uh, linear equations that look like that. The thing that you need to know is that when lines are parallel, they have the same slope. And when lines are perpendicular, they have slopes that are negative reciprocal. So you would express the slope as a fraction and then flip it upside down and change the sign. If it's negative, make it positive. If it's positive, make it negative. Let me show you how that works with this one. It says, consider this line, negative 2x minus 9y equals negative 5. And we want the slope of a parallel line and a slope of a perpendicular line to this line. The first thing I need to do is find the slope of this line. And I usually like to do that by putting it in that uh, slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. When you have it in that form, you know that this m is your slope. Whatever is multiplied by the x, um, once the equation is solved for y, is the slope. So I'm going to solve this for y. Let's see, the first thing I want to do is get rid of this negative 2x. So I'm going to add 2x to both sides just getting the y alone on the left. So that would make it negative 9y equals 2x minus 5. And then we just have to divide by negative 9. Here, this is going to cancel. And then over on the right, we take this a term at a time. So this is 2x divided by negative 9. That would end up being a negative 2 ninths x. And a negative 5 divided by a negative 9 is a positive 5 ninths, although we're not really going to concern ourselves with the, uh, the intercept right here. All we really want is the slope. That is the slope of this line, negative 2 ninths. So a slope to a line parallel to this line is going to be the same thing, negative 2 ninths. Now, a slope of a perpendicular line is going to be a negative reciprocal. So since this one is already negative, it's going to be a positive. The negative of a negative is a, is a positive. And we're going to take the reciprocal, so we'll, we'll flip this fraction. So this is actually going to be a positive 9 halves. Let's try one more similar. OK, so here our equation is x minus 8y equals 9. First thing I want to do is find the slope of this. So let's solve this equation for y. I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So this would give me negative 8y equals negative x plus 9. And then we're going to divide by negative 8. OK, so here that cancels. We just get y. And then on the left, first, a negative x divided by a negative 8. That would be a positive, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So positive x over 8, or I can write it this way, 1 eighth times x. x over some number is the same as 1 over that number times x. And then we have a negative 9 eighths, but we don't really need to worry about the intercept. So there's our slope, positive 1 eighth. So a slope of a line parallel to this will have a positive one eighth. The slope of the perpendicular, we're going to take a negative of this. So since this is a positive, our answer will be negative. And we'll flip the fraction, 8 over 1. But of course, 8 over 1 is just 8. So this is a negative 8 for the slope of the perpendicular line. So that's a little bit of work with uh, slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines.